Hello, Doers. My name is Jose Ignacio. Imagine this. You're a fast-growing furniture company like Stealthywood. Orders are booming. Customer demand is at an all-time high. And your warehouse, well, it's humming. But with so many new orders coming in, your procurement team is starting to feel the strain. Keeping up with the vendors, pricing, and delivery timelines, it's becoming a real challenge. But the growth comes with new headaches. Multiple vendors with inconsistent pricing. Unclear delivery times. No standardized way to track who ordered what, when, and how much. If your procurement process lives in email, spreadsheets, and sticky notes, it's pretty easy to lose control. And you miss critical lead times or overpay for products. That's why we use the Odoo Purchase app. Let's actually take a look at how it helps solve these challenges by managing vendor relationships and streamlining orders using requests for quotations or RFQs for my acronym lovers. So enough chit chat, let's hop right into Odoo. So from the purchase app dashboard, we can see an overview of our RFQs and purchase orders. So the larger boxes up at the top that are colored over here, well, that's all the RFQs in the database and their respective status. The smaller boxes below them are RFQs assigned to me. Let's not talk about my late ones. Let's actually create a new RFQ. So we are getting ready for a big showroom launch at Stealthy Wood, and we need more of our top selling teak wood tables. Clicking new up at the top allows me to create a new RFQ. So we've already talked to our vendor Azure Interior about the upcoming sale and all those past conversations, pricing agreements and vendor details are neatly tracked within Odoo. So they know when to expect those big orders. Let's type them in over here for our vendor. There we go, perfect. So in the past, we may have had to send spreadsheets back and forth, compare prices and hope that everything arrived on time. Now everything is tracked in one place. I'm going to set our order deadline for that reason to one week from today. Ah, good old July. Perfect. We're gonna click away and we're ready to go. We need this fast. So on the products tab that we have right here, I'm gonna add the product. So we're gonna select the word add a product and I'm gonna select, what did I say? The teak wood table. And now you'll notice that the quantity defaults to one and the unit price is 125 freedom units or USD. This is a great time to test Odoo's vendor rules. We have an agreement with Azure Interior where if we order 15 or more of these tables, we get a nice discount. So when I update the quantity over here to 15, oh, Odoo magically, it just happened right there. The unit price decreases to 100 bucks each. You can learn more about vendor price lists, including how to set quantity-based pricing and manage supplier agreements by checking out the tutorial linked in the description. Now, in our talks with Azure, they recommended a new product for a showroom, this teakwood lamp. We should order a few with this shipment just to see what it looks like with a table. So we're gonna select out a product and teak wood lamp. Hold the phone. I just realized that doesn't exist here. Well, that's no problem. We're actually going to type that in and then select create and edit. Perfect. Now we can get started on this nice pop-up. All right, so inside of here, the cost for each of these lamps is $30. That is all I'm gonna to need to update for now because it's the only thing we care about. Okay, now I'm just gonna hit save on that and boom, it exists now. Let's take 10 of them. All right, perfect. That should be enough to stock our showroom, at least for the first few days. Now it's time to send the order to Azure and get these products shipped to us. So up here, I'm going to click on send RFQ. Doing so generates a compose email pop-up that is very well timely appeared for me right there. And it's a nice pre-written email, which is a nice time save. I can edit the email if I'd like, such as just putting this, I don't know why. And once that I need to and everything is done, we can personalize it, add notes for ourselves. And then once that we're done with everything, we can get started. All right, so once it's ready to go, we select send. Perfect. Now we could see the record of the email inside of the chatter over here. And the status has changed to RFQ sent. As a side note, we also have this print button over here up at the top. So if any of our vendors work on an in-person basis, we can grab a PDF version. Fortunately for us, we just had to wait for Azure Interior to approve this RFQ. So once that the vendor confirms with us that they can honor our request by the order deadline, I can click confirm order. And once that we're done with that, it is now turned into a purchase order. So at this point, I have a new receipt smart button over here up at the top. Now let's actually click into there. All right. 
So inside of here in our operations tab, we can actually confirm that the demand and quantity are the same. So that means I can validate up at the top, which confirms that our shipment has arrived and our inventory has been updated. Now, once we do that, we just have to wait and see if the new lamp is as popular as the matching table. And there you have it, folks. Odoo's RFQ workflow turns what used to be email chains and spreadsheets into one clickable pipeline. Request, confirm, receive, and update inventory in real time. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out our other purchase tutorials. Link below. Until next time, Odooers, go grab a snack. I have immune lozenges because I'm getting sick.